Today we're making dark chocolate truffles. I like to use a mix of semi-sweet and bittersweet chocolate in the ganache for the richest chocolate flavor. Once everything is weighed out, we can pour the scalded cream over the oven-warmed chocolate and let it sit for a couple minutes to finish melting, then mix it smooth. Once it cools to about 92 degrees, we can add our butter for a more luxurious mouthfeel. Vanilla and sea salt will give us a nice flavor boost, and cognac helps too. An immersion blender will mix everything nicely, at which point we can cover it and let it sit until the chocolate crystallizes and our ganache is firm. A portion scoop will give us a consistent size and a quick hand roll rounds them nicely. To temper our dark chocolate coating, a bowl over steaming water is a great way to gently get things melted to 120 degrees. It is very important to make sure that no water comes into contact with our chocolate or it will seize up. Reserve about a third of the total chocolate you'll need to seed. Seeding our melted chocolate coating with tempered chocolate will cause a stable crystal structure to spread throughout, ensuring a glossy finish and a perfect snack. Once it hits about 90 degrees, we can dip our ganache on top immediately, then we can put them in a pretty box with some frilly paper. Yum.